Morning, everyone. How are you guys today? I know I'm well aware there's nobody here right now. I find this the weirdest time, at least at least when one person comes in that I don't feel completely like I'm doing some sort of talk to myself. <laughs> Hope you guys are all well. I'm just setting some stuff up here. Hey. Oh. Sorry, I'm just bringing up another window. Pause this. And I'm going to put chat. Huh. See how this works. How's everybody doing today? I'm uh it's been a couple of days since I did this, so I wanted to uh come by and see how you guys are doing and anybody that I didn't get to see last night. Felt good to be back. Really, really missed you guys. So this is definitely a highlight for me when uh you know when days aren't the best, it's always good to hang out. So and some good things are happening. Like I say, we're getting the the house that we inherited. I had to go down and take care of a bunch of that stuff, and uh, it's going well. So I know the weather's getting nicer, so it's going to be harder to find people on stuff like that. But nonetheless, it's always good to hang out and see who's around. And this, these winging are, like I say, are only short notice, so, you know. We'll see. We'll just see how it goes, right? I just took Xenia to uh, her doctor's appointment. So, well, doctor's appointment, her pain management uh, group, I should say. So, I have to leave and get her in a little while, but. Hmm. I hope some people come on. I see one or two pop in and then back out again. We'll try it for a little bit. Either way, I'm just hanging out here. There's some other things uh, to reply to that I got to do. I can do that at the same time. Now that I have my live chat up on the other big TV, I should be able to see it good. So that should help a lot. So... Please, if you're in, say hi. I'd love to hear from you. <laughs> I feel like that commercial for the Maytag man they used to have years ago because their products were so good that he was always so lonely. Uh, what's his name from WKRP? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, yeah, like I said, there's not much else new. Um, it was a busy weekend, lots of traveling, took the trains Friday night. It's a 12-hour train ride to my parents with Via Rail. Well, 12, uh, yeah, almost 12 hours. And then um, because it, now it stops in New Brunswick and Campbellton, I had to take a, get my parents to come pick me up, which felt weird, <laughs> but they did. And then we went and had breakfast, and then it's a 40-minute drive to their place. So, yeah, it made for quite a busy so I arrived Saturday, spent two days really working on the place, cleaning it up, uh, doing all kinds of things around the house that had to be done. And then I brought back the truck on Monday. So, and then an 800 cliff, 850 kilometer drive back after all that. So needless to say, it was a, it was a busy time. But that's all good though. Nothing wrong with that. You just, uh, Oh, good morning, Doug. You saved me. I feel like I'm like recording my memoirs here. So, <laughs> welcome. How are you this morning? Like I say, I just took Xenia to her uh, pain management clinic uh, meeting. So, I'm just home for a while and then I got to go back. So, just said I would pop on and see who's around. I hope you're doing well, Doug. cool here today another sun shining day well how amazing is that that's uh, an amazing thing to hear <laughs> because uh, it's sunny here but it is cool out today and 
I don't get bothered much by colds. I'm not one of those people that hate cold. But yeah, it, it is cold. <laughs> uh, which is nice for sleeping through the night. It warms up to the day nice, but at night it was cold. Uh, temperature in Montreal right now is 8 degrees Celsius or 47 Fahrenheit. But it will go up to the day. Yeah, I know. I know. Hey, Susie, how are you? Oh, we have Mr. and Mrs. here. I'm so honored. Good to have you guys. <laughs> it's a pretty quiet room this morning. Like I say, I'm assuming as it gets sunnier and we're not like experts on live stream that things will get quieter especially in mornings and stuff but still good just to come on you guys are so funny we absolutely adore you guys especially now that we find out you're married like that just even put you like top tier in the books even if it was possible to go further than what you already were you guys are so incredible oh that's what i see so well i don't want to get anybody in trouble <laughs> we're, we always say real uh real life comes first no you guys are just such amazing people and i feel like you're you're got that genuineness that i i think xenia and i have and uh we try to really keep on youtube and i feel like you guys have the same too it's a lot of like genuineness integrity all those things kind of wrapped up into one so you got you guys are absolutely amazing so it's always nice to have you both mm -hmm. Oh my god! And I like I say, it was so funny. I'm glad you like you guys we were saying last night. Embrace the marine than the meme because before knowing that, like all that stuff with those friggin' uh, hostess cakes. <laughs> well, you know it's it's nice. I mean, it's nice to, to it's so nice to connect with people who you feel are like I kind of. I mean, we uh, we haven't like spent time in each other's homes, and I mean it's not that intimate, but just still you can meet people. And have some sort of camaraderie between you. And I feel our channel is really growing into that. There are channels that are bigger than us and stuff like that. But uh, I, I mean, I do believe we have a good foundation. Uh, who's here? Welcome. Uh, I felt so bad the other night. I so wanted to be on when you were on. I was watching on the train for a little bit. And I was quite jealous. <laughs> Well, I am so glad you dropped by. It's so good to have you. You know, it's uh, we're just saying about great people, and you know, like you're another one that falls in that category. We really have a good group here. I find that gets together, so I'm proud of that. I was at Target yesterday, and they sell a full case of those cakes. I was, <laughs> oh yeah, I would be the same way as you. I, I, I that, that there, that's what cracked me up so badly. Yeah, no, no. So I get exactly where you're coming from. <laughs> That's so funny. And and thank you, Jose. You were such a, a, a great guest with her and stuff like that because she was nervous, and I don't know why, uh, but it's just seeing here even I find it a bit hard because we're used to counting on each other for doing part of the stuff and catching each other if one runs out of something to say and, you know, uh, <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, that's probably the greatest compliment anybody's ever given me. <laughs> if I hear something like that, I know my job has been done. <laughs> yes, exactly. Susie will always, always, always. I will never forget the first night I seen that video. You know one of those ones like when you're been like when we were all in that kind of grind and it's like uh, that night was a late night if I remember right, and it's just like you're kind of seeing everything a thousand times. You're checking out things and going back and watching other people's. And I remember when that one came up, and I mean it just cracked me up so badly. I watched it like three times in a row, you know, and I had already seen some of Susie's videos, so, <laughs> but yeah, I just couldn't pass it up. And a legend was born that day, so everybody wins. How's everybody else's day going? Oh, hey, Felicia, how are you? Good to see you. 
welcome this morning. Like I say, it's pretty chill. There's not much going on. Um, just hanging out. Xenia's at her pain minute management uh, group. They meet every week. Uh, she's part of like a at the Montreal General Hospital. They have this division, and it's for people with uh, really bad chronic pain. And that way, she has access to uh, special doctors, uh, nurses, physiotherapists, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. And plus, they get like a uh, they get. Um, like special speakers in lots of times and, and all kinds of different fields dealing with chronic pain and stuff. So she hasn't been feeling well the last couple of days. She uh, gets a lot of migraines now. And when you add that in with chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia, it's a lot to take. So, But, you know, she's a trooper. I mean, she's still young to be that sick. That's what's hard because I'm older than her, of course. And, I mean, I never, ever thought of her getting sick. It would always be me, you know. So, was... <laughs> I love that. Oh, you got to start putting that in all your stuff. That's a great title, Susie. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> That's an amazing, amazing phrase. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, you got to start putting that in all Twitter, everything. <laughs> oh, my God. So you're doing good, Felicia. What else is new with you? Like I say, it's pretty chill here. We're just kind of shooting the breeze and nothing too, uh, nothing too serious. I could have waited down there. Sometimes I do. I'll go find a, a bureau on grow or something like that. Uh, bureau on grow is uh, well, the rest not just states but the rest of Canada. That's basically Staples. Because of the Quebec laws, you need to have something French. But like McDonald's and that all pass through it by creating their logos as trademarks. So basically now they're not writing their, uh, but they still can't write like in English. It has to be written in French besides McDonald's and that. But some places like Staples, they bought up Quebec chains like Bureau en Gros, which means large office. And they just kept the name. Uh, so it's their way of kind of getting around the language laws or working with it, I should say. I keep shaking my leg this morning. We got some more people here. Bottle caps need coffee. Yes, you do. I know it's early, my friend. Good to see you. Mm. How are you this morning? Always great to have you by. Like I said, we're not doing anything too uh, spectacular this morning. Just kind of chilling out. I'll go get Xenia in a while. So, but. Uh, Oh, I never even realized, uh, Felicia, I forgot to, uh, there you go. Let's make you a moderator as well. There you go. Don't want to have gray in there. You've been here a couple of times. Tony. Tony, you never have to apologize. On, yeah, I mean, we understand. I mean, nothing to apologize for whatsoever. It's always great to see you when you can, but I know it's late for sure. Hmm. You can only do what you can do, man. Uh, the real life comes first, and you need sleep. So <laughs> nobody's going to fault you for that. You guys, we I, we all appreciate you so much and everything you do. And every minute you give with us, we know as minutes of your very, are all very important. I mean, it's from your day. So, I mean, you never have to apologize for stuff like that. And I appreciate anything you guys can Drop by. It's always good. Hey, how are you? Good to see you this morning. Dare I say the A word, panic? <laughs> That's still, I never put that out. That's going to be such good clickbait. I know he's superstitious, so he got freaked out by it. But um, <laughs> an exenia to a point too. Even my mother, I was telling her about it, and she was she's kind of in the middle. I think she believes more than she puts on. But well, good morning, touring taste buds. How great to have you! So nice to see you this morning. 
like I said, it's been a couple of days, so I just wanted to come on and see how everybody was doing and anybody was around, plus some of the ones who can't make it to the shows at night because it's late and things going on in life, so. Oh, oh what's going on, Panic? I, if you can share it, if you can't, just know that, uh, you know, whatever, you know, thoughts, prayers, whatever you like, good vibes you'd like from us, we're there. I just, I'm sorry to hear anything sad news. I, I don't know. But like I said, don't feel obliged. If you can't share it, don't share it. It's completely up to you. Windy City, how are you doing this morning? Steve-O, I loved having you here. Thank you for last night. Hey, okay, foraging. Well, good morning, friends. Love what you're doing, man. So good to have you. Always a pleasure to have you. Like I say, things are pretty chill this morning. Just sitting around town. It's been a couple of days since I did this. I was gone. So come back. Last, I was on last night. Well, I come back on the Monday night show. I literally finished an 850 kilometer drive and came up the stairs, and Xenia was still on. So everybody enjoyed my Indiana Jones look with my hat, leather jacket. Panic lost our main. Oh, no. Oh, I am so sorry to hear that. Uh, have you considered data recovery? I have used it in the past. Uh, Acronius, I believe it was that I used. I kind of forget now, but I believe it's them. It did work. I mean, it corrupted some stuff, but I got back a good bit. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, man. That's awful. It's all your stuff since November. AOK -okay Forging and Adventures. Wanted to come on and wish my wife out. Well, we want to wish your wife and you a very, 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 very big anniversary, happy anniversary. And wish you tons more. And... Wish you guys nothing but the best. As much happiness as a person could get is what you deserve. Uh, good morning, Beauty and the Bird. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, my God. I'm so honored. I was worried because for the first couple of minutes, it was zero. I had nobody. I was talking to myself. I felt like I was doing my last will and testament. Uh, 800 kilometers. Did the Mazda minivan break down? I didn't have the Mazda Tribute SUV. I got the other truck I inherited was a um, 2005, uh, uh, sorry, 2011 uh, Ford Ranger. And uh, he only had 60,000 kilometers on it. Yeah, th when I brought it back Monday, the 850-kilometer drive was the longest drive it ever did. And I also inherited a 2010, 2010 Chevy Malibu with 125,000 kilometers on it. So I brought the truck. I got to sell it because it has those little foldable back seats. And uh, that's no good with the kids. And secondly, rural areas are not a good place to resell a truck. And they'll get a lot better for it up here because everybody's going to want it for next to nothing or they're buying something brand new. So, uh, all, all our intro template. Thumbnails, videos for the week or a while. I'm so sorry to hear that panic. Like, I, I, my heart goes out to you. We've been down that road. No clicking, just fatal little drive errors on start up recovery. Been running for almost 20. Well, it does take a long time. It could run for two days, three days. So that's, but leave it run. Don't stop it because once you stop it, you can like screw it for life. So just let it recover. And uh, crossing all fingers. I, I don't know for you if that's superstitious, bad, or whatever. But uh, just uh, hope it all works out. Susie, thank you so much for coming, my dear. Always a pleasure to have you here. Um, hope to see you tonight, and I hope you have a great day. Take care. You just say Malibu. I've been missing two and a half men for your show. Oh my god, bottle caps, you are one of a kind. <laughs> oh, bottle caps, his hard drive uh, had a fatal error on to it. That's what he meant. He had a uh, misfunction. Guys, always, 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 always back up your stuff. Back up your stuff for the expense of it. Whatever. 
you can back it up at least onto another hard drive or go with the cloud. Uh, we do multiple hard drives just because video takes up so much space. It costs a fortune in cloud storage. But yeah, because it really does suck when this happens. And I was guilty. I've, I've, it's happened to me before. We almost lost everything we ever had, including all of our personal stuff, and that I had to recover four hard drives, three terabytes each. And I recovered about 85% of everything. Uh, work stuff, personal stuff, everything. So, uh, yeah, always make sure. Get data back. Hmm. That's an interesting one. Oh, from Wondershare. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yes. Yeah, they do. Uh, I haven't used them for theirs. I've used it for recovery for video, like, you know, corrupt videos and stuff. I've used their Wondershare to recover corrupt videos from Acreonis when I used that to recover the hard drives. Then after that, I had to use it for some of the things, so. It's never a fun thing to be in, that's for sure. That's not a good situation. Polito's Toys Playtime, welcome. How are you today? Sorry, I'm just acknowledging you now. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry, I had a brain fart for a second. Mm-hmm. Now I remember. <laughs> yeah, panic. You know something? You're not the only one. That's just a common story. I mean, we're all procrastinators, and I mean, life goes on, and sometimes we just don't have that few minutes. <clears throat> you know, so sometimes it's just the way things work out, you know. But just like I say, let the recovery run and don't stop it. It is frustrating, especially sit and watch it taking so long, but it's a better chance of getting something back. But if you stop it, you can really ruin your chances of ever recovering anything. So. Hmm. How's everybody else doing this morning? I hope everybody's having a good day. And then, like, ones like uh, psychic them that are having bad days, I do hope it gets better. Yeah, no, I get that. I because I know you work in IT. Yeah, uh, yeah, and I, I. I how many how many mechanics have you seen work on a fifty thousand dollar car, and then they drive home in something that was like nineteen eighty two and half falling apart, and they're stranded on the side of the road when all they had to do was change like a distributor cap on it or something like that? <laughs> Panic! You have nothing to apologize for. Everybody's can vent, they can laugh, they can enjoy. It's for everything here. We're all family, so. Oh, you got a virus in your computer, please? And uh, the computer doesn't work? Yeah, that really sucks. Mm. <laughs> oh, I sound like Miriam. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Beauty and Bird, you're going on at 3, 3 p.m. today, Eastern? I'm going to try and catch that. I got to go get the kids, but I'll... Yeah, yeah, or a serpentine belt. Well, that wasn't my fault because the the uh, bearing on the tension arm went. That's why I blew my serpentine belt. LOL. Asshole. <laughs> yeah, shoemaker story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, our wives are good for that. Believe me, I can relate to that one quite well. <laughs> yeah, guys, and if any of you haven't checked out Beauty and the Birds uh, live streams, please do. Like, they're on at 3 p.m. today Eastern. If you're around, definitely check them out. They are amazing. Uh, yes, you're right. It's attention. Except for one time when my air conditioning went, my and then that really, really sucked. <laughs> Because then it blew the belt plus here. But I mean, I would have changed it anyways. But yeah, it's almost always them. Because 
the tension arm pulley has always got the least amount of structure to it, you know, compared to the, the alternator, the air conditioning, everything. So, uh, sorry, I'm just getting some annoying message I can't deal with right now. You had your first video a hit over 103 hours. Congratulations, Panic Videos. Excellent Panic D videos, excuse me, if I want to be formal. <laughs> uh, and guys, same for all of you. If you have like a live stream coming out, I appreciate it if it's not the same time as ours <laughs> and we try to do the same with you guys. But if you have them coming up or special videos or something like that, that's not spamming. You can always, you're always free to say, you know what, tomorrow at... Uh, you know, four o'clock uh, central, I'm doing this or that. We don't mind. You guys, that's the whole reason why you guys are all mods. You can post something like that. We're not going to be upset. You guys know better than to put it like 10 times in a row or sub me, sub me, sub me. You guys don't do any of that. So never be shy to say anything like that. I had the t I had the tensioner go on my 1995 Jetta GLI halfway through a 300-mile trip. Oh, yeah, that sucks. That sucks. And especially Serpentine Bell. I mean, years ago when it was all individual pulleys, you know, the old cure was always keep like a pair of nylons in the car. It's enough to get you home most times. Those days are long gone. And I mean, there's such an aggravation to loop all around and everything else and all that, you know. But... What time... Uh, Easterns are in New York time, so they're you're in England, so they're five hours difference. Yeah, they're the same time as us. So that'll be what? The three o'clock, so it'll be eight o'clock at night for you. <laughs> <laughs> Heads in space, I love it. How you doing, Cuffs? Good to see you. I pulled the pulley off and let the belt run over the. Oh, and you never, the belt never let go? Crazy. That That's brave. <laughs> it worked to get you there, so that's off to you. I was stuck downtown when it went, of course, because I was live streaming. So you're stuck in traffic and trying to make it back with the in the car and, you know, I'm losing power. I'm like, because I knew it went as soon as I went to pull up from the light because I lost all my power steering. And then it was running off the battery and then have to get through downtown. I was worried about the car then overheating and, uh, you know, because, of course, it would be on a day, the one of the first really warm days we had. So I'm coming back, coming back, and I'm just about at my place, literally like a quarter of a kilometer and that's when the battery was losing all juice, and I started losing my fuel pump, and blah, blah, you could feel it. And I'm like, come on, I'm so close. I made it, though, with moments to spare, but I made it. Yeah, exactly, doodles, my dog. <laughs> I remember uh, when I was out west driving truck um, and uh, hauling uh, crude oil, I had uh, taken out a truck that was just repaired because they were working on mine. And I had on 31 tanker, 31 cubic meters, I think it was, crude oil. And I got out, and Saskatchewan is a perfect grid. It's the, I'll, I'll mention that in a minute, but yeah, like, because it's the flattest part of Canada. You can see for literally like 30 miles, no problem. There's nothing in your way. And I'm going, there's not a lot of hills because it's so flat, just a few gullies here and there. And I'm like, I radioed in. I'm like, this truck's heating. I don't trust it. Oh, well, you know, we got to get that load in. And I just redid the engine. I'm like, listen, I'm telling you, this is not good. Pull over, let it cool down, go a little bit further. And I'm like, oh, I don't have a good feeling about this, but you're the boss. That's what you want. So I did it twice. And then the third time I heard the bang. And sure enough, when I got out, I... Uh, Check the dipstick, and uh, yeah, the, uh, the the oil was gray. Of course, the antifreeze because I blew, the, I busted the block, so that all went in and mixed. 
And that was the end of the engine, probably for about ten, twelve thousand dollars Canadian. <laughs> so yeah, you know, sometimes pushing it can do a lot worse than not doing anything, but I agree in your case for that one. Especially if you're not overheating, you're fine. That's the biggest thing is to avoid heating your engine. So not push them too hard. That's the part I hate about trucking. I used to go out every morning and like you're supposed to like kick the tires to make sure you don't know, check your air or hit them with a you got a wooden uh, wooden baton you hit all your tires with to see if you hear a different sound than you know one's low on air. But I used to just kick it just because I hated trucks so much. <laughs> I, I drove them, but I never was like this, like diehard. Oh, I want to get in a Peterbilt with all kinds of chrome, and I it never, never really appealed to me. But man, it's a stressful job, you know. Like uh, TriStar was on last night, Irvin the paid tourist. You know, I mean, they can tell you it's not an easy job. You get like a fisherman or a lumberjack, or uh, you know, it's one of those. It's not a job; it's a lifestyle. A farmers like that as well. Who is all caps angry with now? <laughs> Bottle caps is keeping order. I see <laughs> the happy soul that he is. <laughs> Bottle caps is one of a kind. <laughs> Always remember that he's a. He's our light at the end of the tunnel here all the time. <laughs> he spreads all the happiness. <laughs> Isn't that right, bottle caps? Hmm. Traffic on the Rainbow Bridge coming back from Canada. We turned it off and pushed it across the... <laughs> oh my god that that's one of those stories when they interview a border crossing agent like 20 years down the road he's still going to remember that story <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> that's a good one I remember blowing the turbo in a in a in a freight liner I think it was that one was the 92 freight liner because it was like two, three years old. No. Yeah, something like that. I'll say two years, whatever. And uh, blowing it in a tunnel, going over towards Sarnia. And wow. <laughs> just like a thundercloud was like grew inside of it in a matter of seconds because it's just nothing but white smoke. And I could hear cars squealing behind me trying to get stopped. Nobody could see where the hell they were going. So I just tried to boot out of there so I could get out and then it would air out and then I wouldn't be stuck blocking the entrance, the, the, the tunnel itself. Because with a truck, yes, you have a shoulder sometimes a little bit, but when you're there, you're basically blocking most of the lane anyway. So, when you blow the turbo like that, you're just pulling in pure oxygen. So, nothing else new with everybody? Excellent. See, that's great, guys. And, and, Honestly, once again, you ever have stuff coming up or that, please just drop a line and tell me that you are. And I'll tell us, excuse me. <laughs> You're procrastinating, Coriolis. Cuffs, I should say. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, diesel's... Uh, Diesel's a tricky beast by times. <laughs> a double doodle vid schedule for soon. Oh, excellent. Oh, isn't that isn't that cool, Tony? Yeah, because they are amazing. And I'm glad you're mentioning them. They they are a great channel. And they are a great team together like that. So I agree with you 100%. Hmm. And like Xenia was telling you last night, she keeps telling me about because uh, she sees the uh, the lunchtime doodles. She's such a fan of it. So <laughs> you guys are all awesome. 
That is the truth. Like I say, I know it's kind of boring this morning. I don't have a whole pile to say. And it feels weird getting back into it, to be honest. You know? But. Let me figure it out. We'll figure it out. I closed the wrong window. Oh, I clicked on the window. Okay, I see what I did. There we go. Too much stuff open this morning. <laughs> I believe Doug can draw anything that he wants. <laughs> I wish I had that kind of talent. I wish I could do stuff on paper like that. I really do. I'm jealous, to be honest. <laughs> Not even envious, jealous. I think that's such an amazing talent. I'm too uh, anal about everything. I want everything straight as an arrow. And that's an awful way to do things because it takes away the creative side of it. Like Xenia is more the creative spirit here. Like Xenia paints some and uh, she hasn't done it lately, of course. So she finds it harder with the pain. But uh, she's always been into like more of the art style. Me, I'm too fussy <laughs> where i can't just let loose you know i agree doodles is amazing you're 100 percent right really amazing oh panic you're back to work sir i didn't see that i, ho I hope you're still here and you have a really great day i hope you hear this uh Pleasure having you. Thank you so much for dropping by. Mm. <laughs> mm. I can draw cartoons all day. No, and that's what's nice about it, watching you have fun do it. That's... I can pinstripe a car with camel hair brushes, but that's about it for my artistry, <laughs> for artsy fartsy brain. <laughs> oh, bottle cuffs! You always know, have such a way with words. <laughs> cuffs, you have a great day. Thank you so much for dropping by. Always great having you here, and I uh, hope to talk to you soon. You take care of yourself. And that was nice that Susie did that, Doug. I think she was really smart in getting you to, like, branch off and go into that. Uh, you have a lot of talent, my friend. And uh, it's really a pleasure to watch. I wish there was some way, like I say, even if you guys don't want to show your faces, I wish we could have you and Susie on before the summer lets out. It would be so amazing that the two of you on. There's nothing to be scared about. Mm, you know, <laughs> I would love for you to show your faces, but I know you guys aren't so big onto that part. But if we could just even just talk. Yeah, shout outs are good. Like, I feel bad. I've never made a shout out video because I never, I didn't know what I wanted to do with them. And I found some of them were done. I don't know. I, I wasn't sure what to make of it. My mic battery is starting to die. I, we got to get the proper condenser mics. I'm not spending tons of money on them, but just something better. Right now, I mean, the road one works great, but the problem is it's got a battery-operated uh, preamp into it and stuff. And should have one for me and one for Xenia, really. Actually, maybe it might go with the uh, lav... Uh, uh, lava, not lava light. You know what I mean? Uh, mics, they're the clip on ones. I'm so bad at remembering that stuff. Brock decks. How are you, my friend? From the great white north. <laughs> That's something when a Canadian has to say that <laughs> to you. <laughs> How you doing? Great to see you.
How are you doing today? Are we on at work with you? What time are you? No. Oh, God, no. You'd be leaving for work. Yeah, lovelier. Thank you very much, Doug. <laughs> Because <laughs> they are in Quebec, like uh, Lavalet is like a very popular French name, so I mix them up all the time. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Mm. Mm. Well, that's why, yeah, so we haven't done a show video, but that's why I want to promote you guys to really tell your stuff in here that you're doing. I want to give you guys a forum that other people that are not aware of it will find you, so... I think you have you will get it off too. Excellent. Good guys. I was really nice to see you guys all connecting and stuff like that. Two amazing channels being viewed by other amazing channels. Couldn't ask for much better than that, right? I should put this out on Twitter. I should have put this out on Twitter, but I gotta go in a little bit anyways and go get Xenia and uh, I don't know. Then I got a bunch of other stuff I gotta do. <laughs> Just one of those days. Hmm. All right. I feel so boring today. Like, I literally feel like I just have nothing to say. I just missed you guys and just wanted to come on and see how you were doing. And, you know, chatted out with you guys for a little bit. Because it was weird over the weekend. Like, I was kept thinking, you know, I wonder what they're up to. I wonder how things are going. I wonder, you know. Brock Nux, thank you so much for dropping in. Always great to see you. You have an amazing day, my friend. Take care. Be safe. All the best. Um, you guys have our Twitter, uh, Beauty and the Bird. Please uh, just send Xenia because I think there is just a couple openings because once the summer comes, it's going to be harder. I would really, really like you to yeah, get in contact with her on Twitter, uh, Pusha Studios, and uh, we'll set that up. Definitely love to have you on. Oh, take care, bottle caps. You take uh, good luck. Cheers. See you tonight. <laughs> well, thank you, Doug. <laughs> I wish I was giving you a little more something interesting this morning. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> And don't get caught, bottle caps. <laughs> How are you doing this morning, scrumptious? Scrumptious model trains. Now, is that a great handle or what? Uh, they're memorable, these ones. There's some of them that just will always stand out. <laughs> Like I said, it's pretty quiet. I'm just wondering what you guys were up to and how you're doing. I was curious, too, because, like I say, as it's getting warmer, there's going to be less people on and stuff like that. That's understandable. So I'm just checking to see who's doing what. Oh, excellent beauty. Please send it off to her. Send it quick because I think I, I, it's weird, but we're filling up pretty quickly. So if you can get in touch with her. Uh, she's at a pain management clinic right now, but uh, uh, she'll be in touch with you really soon. So, I'm doing all right. It's good to be back with you guys. Like I said, I missed you guys. So, always fun. Always fun to see you all. And we do, even like when it's like Sunday and stuff like that, there's always like a bit of, um, I don't know, nostalgia. Like we'll be out and we'll be like, do you see what Bottle Cast wrote? Uh, I wonder what, uh, you know, Doug and Susie are doing. You know, all these questions. Because like, you guys have become an integral part of our lives. So 
and and for the best i'm happy to of course we don't share everything in our lives nobody does but i'm happy to share this with you guys i i uh, yeah it's a pleasure knowing you all i'm doing my driving exam in two days does anyone have any tips yes relax you've already learned everything you need to know by now if you're this close to your exam and just let common sense prevail don't think of it like points on a test. Just think of it as common sense and you'll be fine. And if for some reason you don't pass it, it happens to a lot of people. Don't be too hard on yourself. There's another time coming up just around the bend, but I'm sure you're going to do great. In short, don't sweat it because you'll do a lot better if you're relaxed. That's just my opinion. No, exactly. You know, I we're always up for anybody who wants to be on. You know, it's just send us a send us a message in Twitter, and uh, we'll definitely. And it's been good, like you say, we've been quite varied, and there's still lots of new places to go. So you know, uh, uh, I've been happy with that. Uh, we don't want to be like a cookie cutter, the same one all the time. We're lucky in the type of videos we did even before we started live stream that we kind of appeal to a broader audience. Not that. Like, all specialty channels, too, can bring in a broad audience, and I promote that. Like, if you're into mechanics, you, it's I always say it's good to have, you know, about 40% of base to 60% and the rest be a, a gray area because there's always overlaps, and it keeps things fresh. And that's part of the, the variety of life because not too many people just have one hobby in their life, even if that YouTube channel is based on that hobby. They do have other interests, so it only makes you better and more rounded. Wiseman's Creek Studios, how are you? Great to see you. How are you doing today? Guys, another fantastic channel. Please, if you see a channel come in here that you don't recognize, you've seen the quality of guests. Uh, guests I sh I'll not take that back. But also the quality of people in this chat is like we have the best of the best. I'm really proud of that. So if you see somebody in here, you got my full endorsement right away. Go check them out. Especially if they got the blue wrench. You know, they're good in our books, so you'll have definitely a good follower with them and you them with you. So everybody win. Art of Morbid, how are you this morning? Good morning to you, sir. Yeah, it's early for you out there as well. You're getting on the all oh, you did your countdown, didn't you? Again, <laughs> I love that so much. Great to see you, my friend. Thank you so much for dropping by and saying hi before you head out. I only it's always great to hear from you. I always say, guys, I said it time and time again, your time is valuable, and any amount of time you share with us is greatly appreciated because I know how valuable it is. So no matter how short or long, we always appreciate it. Well, I hope that coffee works out for you. It's almost 11 o'clock here, and I'm still... I started drinking my coffee out of thermoses because I realized it's lasting longer. I never drank coffee in my whole life till Xenia got me hooked on it. Brother Dunn, how are you, my friend? Well, I'm so glad you dropped in to say hi, and you got a video coming up. Please tell everybody about it. Anything you want to share? Like I said, guys, you guys are good at pleasing yourselves. Nobody here has spams. That's why we made you as all uh, moderators. You have a live stream. I appreciate if it's a live stream the same time as ours, maybe not posting it, but any other time, go for it. Because I know you guys don't spam or nothing. You got a video coming out. Uh, you hit a milestone. Please put it out there. I want as many people to see it. I know we don't have as big a channel as some of the other ones, and that's not our main mission in our channel, but it's a, definitely a byproduct that you guys are more than welcome to tap into. And thank you, Tony. I appreciate that. I really do. And uh, we try our best to put together something. The way we're doing our live streams is to try and make it feel like it's not just something to go for views, but actually something tangible and worth watching. And that's our mission. And I hope we can, some nights we keep wondering if we're doing it. 
that way if we keep strong to it but we are trying because that is important to us i don't want anybody to walk away thinking oh they just wanted some minutes out of me i hope you walk away at least feeling that you weren't ripped off <laughs> Just working on a running uh, vid through the Highland Trail outside of Vancouver. Well, that sounds amazing. I can't wait to see it. Oh, you heard it, guys. Definitely check them out. Like, look at these channels. Like, all you guys make great work here. You know, I'm, prou I'm proud to be associated with all of you. That's what it comes down to. I'm really proud to be. Because I know these are all people that are in it for the long haul. People that always put the quality of their work first. And I mean, I couldn't think of better people to be paired off with. Annalise. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> See, I had to take a little breath before I did it because I just wanted to make sure I remember our talk last night. <laughs> it's all, it's, I'm at work, but wanted to say morning. Well, I'm so happy you came to say good morning. And, uh, Big good morning to you, too. It's even more morning for you right now. Here it's going to be 11. For you, it's going to be 8. So. Am I fishing this long weekend? Mm, probably not. I'm not a big fan. My father, like I say, was a guide for fly fishing for over 20 years. And as growing up, I worked spare guide doing that as well. There's five camps, and one of them is owned by the Englehart family. And their father died when uh, in the 70s. I never met him. And he left his wife, the seventh richest woman in America. Uh, their oldest daughter, uh, she was married to uh, Oscar De La Ronte, who I met many times. And uh, he passed away a couple of years ago. He was actually a very kind man. It's funny because it was a town of a couple hundred people, but in the summer... Not a lot of superstars, not like, you know, sports celebrities much and stuff like that. It was more like old, connected to the Kennedy type of money that would come in. And they came in for fly fishing salmon. I I, I can do it a bit, but I, I don't have a lot of patience for fishing, to be perfectly honest. I try, and my father uh, ties his own fly hooks and stuff like that, and he showed me some, but it just wasn't my thing i'm hoping maybe he might now because he, he couldn't do it for a couple of years because he had cataracts and they've been removed i'm thinking maybe this summer our middle son might want to learn a bit and he can sit down and show him so because i'd like to see it passed on i was more of hunting but not like a not like a rambo uh, it's been years now since i've done hunting as well just because of being in montreal it's a bad time to go home i always like i always like moose hunting out of them all, I like moose hunting. That's my favorite. And that brings out patience in me. I didn't know I had. <laughs> but you never know. I'll probably take my son uh, when I go home this summer. I'll probably take him for a bit of i uh, I'll take him down to the mouth of the river. where Because the rest of the river, you're only allowed to use fly rods. And you have to pay to be on there. Like For those cottage, those five cottages, you know, they're probably paying three, four grand U.S. a day. And some of them have been going, you know, and sometimes there's a four-year waiting list just to try and get in. Most of them are recurring guests for 30-plus years. But, uh, yeah, like, there's a couple of waiting pools at the very top, and I think even that is like $200 a day or something. It was always kind of a way of, because some of the locals then at first some thought, well, not the locals, because they knew why. The way, reason why was was to protect jobs. By keeping people off of the river and leaving it for the the guests coming in, it, it created a it employed the town for lack of a better term. So there is always a trade off in everything. But uh, I remember hearing about all the salmon tails when I was teaching in the air, and I can't remember her last name, but her dad was a guide, and they smoked salmon. <gasps> I know who you're talking about, Brother Dunn, and it wasn't her father. Uh, I, I think it was her husband. Was her name Anne Trepanier by any chance? And yeah, and I know it is weird that way because a lot of people hear it and they think it's kind of oppressive. But then again, I've seen, I've seen what happened to a lot of the other brook, like the other rivers in Quebec, to turn into what they call Zec. 
And the uh, uh, if you watched the beginning of my video last night, Brother Dunn, I show the house that I inherited. And, uh, yeah, my the house I inherited is literally like half a kilometer from them. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a small world. <laughs> I've known Anne for years. Her husband grew up in the house right beside uh, my parents' place. And there's the very first video, if you watch the wedding one that I did, Hank and Joe. Joe, the, the girl Joanne, that's uh, her husband's uh, sister. So if you watch the wedding video, you'll actually see Anne in the uh, crowd. Because Anne was originally from Montreal, but she had relations to down there, and that's how they met. That is a small world. <laughs> I will definitely pass on that message for sure. I have her on Facebook, so. Yeah, ex oh, well, there you go. Yeah, go back and look through, especially, uh, you know, a couple minutes in when they're in the wedding uh, scene. Almost all my rural videos are shot in right around in that area. Uh, this summer I'm going to try to shoot some new ones. That is so cool. <laughs> we had some good parties. There. Yeah, I can imagine. They're a lot of fun. That is so cool. Actually, uh, do you guys have us on uh, Facebook or Twitter? Send me a message with your private uh, details and stuff like that. Maybe I can get her to uh, send you a message through Facebook or something like that. That's really cool. Dad's Piranha, sorry I had missed you a while ago. I, we got talking here. Welcome, how are you doing this morning? Like I say, things are pretty lax here. It's just sitting around shooting the breeze for a couple of minutes. I soon got to leave to go get Xenia, so I just wanted to come on. It's been a couple of days since I've done a morning, a morning chat, so... I just can't get over the coincidence that it's such a small world. You take care, my friend. Always a pleasure. Isn't that cool when stuff like that happens? It's always kind of a Canadian thing, too, because like I say, you know, we're a, a huge country landmass, but, I mean, population, in the scheme of things, we're not we're nowhere near the biggest by far. The whole population of California, the whole population of Canada is equal to the population of one state, California. It always gives a perspective. Excellent stuff, my friend, Artem Orbit. You take care of yourself, and you have a fantastic day, my friend. Always great to have you here, and you're always welcome. And I appreciate your time. You guys are great, great, great guys. I love seeing you guys. I'll get to know new ones from here and that. I, like I say, I know there's not... That's not our uh, mission here, but it's definitely an amazing byproduct. And I can't think of a channel with the blue wrench that I wouldn't vouch for. Because you guys are really, really, really good channels. That's what makes me so proud to be associated with you guys. Because... Uh... Happy Trails. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? So great to have you here. Missed you. You're another one I was just talking about. I miss channels. Welcome. Rich Davis. I'm here. Pusha, sorry. I haven't been able to view all the streams. I've been working for a lot. Okay. Everybody's going to roll their eyes because I keep saying it. Your time is valuable. Real life always comes first. Any time you can possibly spare out of your valuable time with us is equally valuable to us. Thank you so much. I just honestly appreciate any time you can give us when you can give us. And that's all that matters. Work's got to come first, my friend. Family's got to come first. 
Uh, peace of mind's got to come first. This is YouTube, you know. This is not the main thing in our lives. The main thing is our real lives. So never apologize. But thank you so much for coming. It's really nice to see you. I understand that too, Happy Trails, you know. And, uh, you know, I, everybody can only do so much. So I love whenever you guys come in here, it always puts a smile on my face. And... When you're not here, I understand completely. Hey, life's got to go on. I just appreciate when you can drop by that you do. And I hope you're well. I was just saying, you know, like I, uh, we were talking about, you know, uh, Artem Orbit just met, uh, I believe, two new channels that he hadn't met before. And even though it's a byproduct in here, I would vouch for any channel in here that has a wrench in front of it. Because you guys are top-notch channels, supporters, creators, integrity-wise. It's not just like a I'll grab you, you grab me type of thing. So that sounded really bad. <laughs> bad choice of words, but you get where I'm coming from. <laughs> you guys are all about substance. <clears throat> and that's why it's, I, I'm honored to have you guys on here. Hmm. There's not really much going on this morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's you. Wait till Neil hears about that one. <laughs> I'll promise not to leave too many fingerprints. <laughs> Jeez. I'm usually pretty good at not saying that, guys. I was usually Xenia. She's the one who comes out with those ones. Like, and she comes out full force. And then when I tell her she gets embarrassed, she laughs and hides her face, figuring that her reel will be gone when she looks back up. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, Opal was back last night. I think everything was okay. Xenia spoke, but I was doing something else at the moment. But I remember, uh, uh, yeah, I think everything was all right. I think she just kind of got smoked out a little bit. That's all, <laughs> with, uh, like, you know, probably just the uh, charred remains from the oven. That happened to Bottle Caps when I, too, he sent a picture of his pizza. He got Hunter's stream and forgot he had a pizza in the oven. Wasn't charred, but, yeah, definitely uh, was... Well done to perfection. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I agree, Annalise. His channel is really cool. He's got so many. He covers everything. I was talking with a friend the other day about that when we were in Montreal in 90... It was 93 or 94. It was my first year away from home for Christmas. And, uh, didn't bother me any typical guy you know <laughs> we sat around drank beer and play. we had a friend who uh, worked for a video game store at the time a, a distributor downtown and he got all the systems that people returned said something was faulty or to test and he brought them home and we were playing this panasonic 3do all weekend Yes, I know. I know he is. And I'm pretty, but I do it mostly consciously. Not often I let one slip like that without thinking about it. Xenia is the one who doesn't think about it and says it's so like true and honest. What happened here? There. I hope I didn't lose you guys. I hope we're still on. Nathan likes drums. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. How are you doing today? Good. Okay. I thought I lost you. Yeah. There's that Panasonic 3DO. That's what we were playing. That thing was kind of crazy for its time because it was the first one to use like digital. Uh, it used like a. What was the name of that game? Twisted. And it did all this kind of stuff. 
Like I had uh, like video excerpts, you know, it was like a game show. Bad video, but video nonetheless. But at the time, it was like this was my, like mind blowing. But the system cost a fortune. I forget how much, but yeah. And they thought they were going to do well, but I think it was I think it was the price point that killed them, if I remember right. But I kind of forget. I don't want to show any video in case we uh, get any copyright strikes against us, but. No, uh, uh, what for me it was in the end, I realized then what happened because I lost, it said I lost connection for a second, but it was because of my uh, Wi Fi kicked in. I forgot to disable it because whenever I do live stream, I hardwire. So that's what I believe happened. Or I had to fix anyway, so I just disabled it. Hmm. well guys there's really like i say it was kind of a drop in i gotta leave pretty much i'm maybe in another three minutes or so because i have to go pick up exenia and that but it was so nice hanging with you guys this morning nothing too formal nothing too informative but we just wanted to catch up with these a little bit it's uh even last night when we did the live stream, like usually we go sometimes to 11 if we're already at 10.30, but I was, she, Xenia had a pounding migraine and she felt awful and she was a real trooper as usual. She hides it a lot. She is really good at hiding it, but yeah. And uh, for myself, like I'm still recovering from the trip and it was a really busy trip. There was no time. I was glad I got home for Mother's Day because I don't know when was the last time that I had been home for Mother's Day. And I took my mother out to this canteen and got her her favorite. Um, was a fresh, because of course it's, it's uh, connected to the bay where I live, so it's all fresh food. They had a lobster uh, a club, a, a lobster club. So basically a club sandwich, remove the chicken and replace it with lobster meat and like they had big chunks of it into it so she was very happy so uh thanks for sitting with us for a bit not much going on today today here yeah same here as you can see <laughs> that's how i roll hey how are you sorry if i missed you And yeah, no, she was happy with it, so it was fun. Like I say, it's been a long, long time since I've been there, so you know, it's always good to uh, take those moments when you can. So, <laughs> let's see here. I'm just gonna just sorry, I'm just sharing something here. Most of you have seen it, I think, last night. Most of you guys were here, but. So that. It was my cousin. He was 80 years old. And he passed away at the beginning of March. And, uh, yeah. That he had passed away. Much appreciated. There's from the back. Also, there's that Ford Ranger that he left us as well. He left everything to us except a piece of land, which he left to my dad. And, uh, yeah. So, that's where I was. So, <clears throat> I had to jump on the train Friday night. and take. I uh, got on. We left at around 7. And I got in the next morning into New Brunswick, uh, Hamilton, New Brunswick, at, I think, 6.30 in the morning. Our time, because they're, they're an hour ahead. It's Atlantic. Then an hour drive home, and then I start on the house for two days going through it. 
Sunday, then took my mother out for supper. Then Monday morning was the put the uh, registration, changed them both over to my name. And I put a parking plate on the car and the truck. Then I went to the notary to do some paperwork. And Xenia for the last half hour and Neil and Artem Orbit. So, and once again, Neil did a fantastic job. I was so appreciative that he could do that with Xenia and meant the world to her. So, stop Oh, I shut off my camera. Okay, there we go. Beauty and the Bird, you take care of yourself. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for coming and good luck. And remember, everybody, they have a live uh, stream coming at 3 p.m. today, Eastern. So definitely check them out. Our plans, Annalise, I have I gotta get the insurance. I left a message from the commie. I'll just put, I'm gonna put it as vacant for the time until we decide. Um, and yeah we'll just go from there so <laughs> oh no problem and i'm glad neil neil is so good at like neil should be working in radio like he has just got that you're listening 95k of heaven he's got that voice he just jumps right into it he's so amazing like he's out of all the live streamers and you as well you're don't take any it's just neil has that certain something that's just made for radio uh, i love listening to him talk like that i i don't know I, I love he just jumps right into it he's so crystal clear and so uh he's so great off the cuff too yes exactly 100 percent 100 percent uh, like the night <laughs> we still laugh when the two of us, when the four of us were on, yeah, might as well say the two of us, the poor lady said trouble getting a word in edgewise, I think <laughs> that was, that was a good night. That was funny. These are both awesome. <laughs> I enjoy those couple nights like that. It's are always fun. Oh God, the time I got to run guys. <laughs> I got to go get Xenia. So amazing to get to see you guys. Thank you so much for coming by. Like I said, nothing too interesting or exciting this morning. Just wanted to talk to you guys. <laughs> I know. I know he plays with you that way. <laughs> oh, we all know who's, uh, you're the producer. You, you run the show. Take care, guys. Cheers. Happy creating. I got to run and get Xenia. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.